We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit in Great Britain is hallowed ground to the Formula One faithful. We have 18 corners that wrap around this former World War II airbase and some good passing opportunities at the end of the DRS zone. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Why don't we discuss Red Bull? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, the owner driver, and Leclerc, Perez, Albon, Norris, and Lance Stroll, Fiat, Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo, and Gasly, Raikkonen, Ocon, Kevin Magnussen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Grosjean, Matsushita, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Right, who is going to win this British Grand Prix? And we are go, go, go for the British Grand Prix Silverstone. Who's going to win? Hamilton's got a perfect start. I myself have got a great start. I'm already up to third place, battling with... So, is that Vettel? Vettel is in second. He's now in third. That was fantastic. This is an absolute crazy race. Oh my god, what a race already. <laughs> this is just going to be crazy, isn't it? Hamilton's off in the distance. I'm trying to hang on, but I don't, I'm not going to catch him. Bottas is struggling behind me at the moment. It's probably because he's on the medium tyre as well. Look at Vettel. Vettel and Verstappen are back then. This is going to be an interesting one. The amount of times they've come together in the past. Verstappen has had an okay season. It's just the start of the season wasn't great for him. He was somehow outdone by his teammate. Albon isn't great. He's not. He's, he's good. He's not great. That's my personal opinion. It's like Lance Stroll. I don't particularly rate him. He's a quick driver, but he's just. He hasn't got that finishing. He's not the finished article at the moment, is he? And I think that's the same with Albon, but they are young. I should give them a break in that sense, they are very young drivers. Hopefully they'll prove me wrong. Oh my god, that was close. Bottas and me nearly came together again. We came together in the Austrian Grand Prix as well. This time Bottas has got past. He's into second place. A very difficult race. I am going to come back at him if I can. I need to find a way round if possible. I've gone very wide there, which has let Vettel and Verstappen back into this fight. It's not going to do me any favours doing things like that. I really need my teammate to be up here helping me battle the big teams. This is why I really need a new teammate. I am absolutely desperate for a new teammate, but I don't think I'm going to get one for a long time. Not one that can take us to the next level anyway. Here we are, I'm having a look. I've got some great... oh no, I can say I've got some great pace there, but it's just not enough. The Mercedes is just too quick. 
Bartes and Hamilton just seem to be glued to the road. Their grip is on another level to ours. I think the way this race is going to go at the moment, I think we're going to have a freeway battle for second and third. And then I reckon for the rest of the position, for the rest of the top 10, you've got this battle here. Leclerc is struggling at the moment. He hasn't done too, he's done okay, but him and Albert are having very, sim very similar results. And it's the same with Verstappen and Vettel. They're yin and yanging. It's like they're not consistent. Both teams seem to be very inconsistent with their driver's results where one race, say Vettel and Verstappen do well, while Albon and Leclerc are doing terrible. Then the next race, it switches and Leclerc and Albon will be doing fantastic and Vettel and Verstappen will be struggling. It's very strange and I think that's why Mercedes are doing so well because even, even when Hamilton doesn't win, he's finishing very high in the points. Same with Bottas, even if he doesn't win, he's finishing in second, third, fourth. Very high in the points and this is why they're dominating the constructors and why Hamilton is first in the championship and Bottas is third. And the only thing I can do at the moment is battle for second. McLaren here are doing fantastic. They've done really well so far this season. They're improving their car from the last few seasons. And now they're in a fight with Renault, who've improved, and Racing Point, who are basically just the second Mercedes team. can't just say their pace is because of their engines because Williams are at the back of the grid nearly every single race and they have a Mercedes engine. It is all down to the fact that Racing Point have also copied many of Mercedes parts from last season's car. And that's why they're called the Pink Mercedes. I don't think it's fair on the rest of the grid. Paul Williams. I really hope that they can improve. Oh, come on. I need to keep Vettel behind me. He... Oh, no. I've shut the door on his face there. He is not going to like that. He's probably swearing right now. Calling me every name under the sun. But I do not care. I am still in third place. And that is all that matters here. I need to keep it together. I need to keep Vettel and Verstappen behind me. And now Verstappen. Verstappen is past Vettel. Ian Vettel is going to be absolutely in. He's going to be furious. They're trying their best to try and overtake me, aren't they? It's just I've got. At the moment, I've got the edge on them. I do think it's the tyres. The soft tyre is incredibly fast. It's got a lot of grip. But when you're battling wheel to wheel for a long time, the grip goes really quickly and then you're left with this very difficult car to drive because you're trying to go as fast as you were earlier but the car sliding all over the place because the tyres haven't got as much grip and the people on the medium tyre will then have the advantage because they've still got that grip so I think I've started on the right tyre maybe it's just is this going to happen to me when I come into the pits for the soft tyre I should have really I don't know. Maybe I should have, maybe I should switch to the hard tire, but I don't know. If I switch to the hard tire, I'm going to be in a very vulnerable position because I'm not going to have much grip either way. 
and it's very difficult to drive on the hard tyre as it is so maybe we'll just we'll try and wing it hopefully we'll get to the end on the softer tyre and it won't run out of grip so quickly it's going to be a very very tense race though McLaren and Racing Point are really battling here Landau's doing his absolute best to try and beat them Carlos Sainz is trying to keep up his teammates have just been better this season I do like Carlos Sainz but Lando has just he's been really good this season Hamilton he is on another planet he's been into the pits he's now on the faster tyre it's now time for Bottas and myself and the rest of the grid to come in oh my god leave me alone Verstappen he's right up my backside we're not dogs on the park trying to communicate leave me alone let me finish in third all right if we can get a good pit stop here i'm gonna try and jump bottas because there is a little there's a little bit of a thing happening with our car at the moment we seem to be able to switch our tires on pretty quickly so we might be able to get the jump on Bottas if we're quick but the big problem is our tyres go off quick as well so I'm going to try oh Hamilton there he is yeah he's out where are we where where's myself and Bottas here we are and we're battling and I have got him got him that's it switch the tires on straight away and we are off we just got to keep Bottas behind because it won't be long before he gets back into this once he's once he switches his tires on he'll get past me but this is gonna help me just to finish in third because the longer I'm in second the longer it's gonna take for Verstappen and Vettel to get past me as well just got to keep it up, come on. Leave me alone, Bottas. Bottas is like a shark at the moment. He's after blood. This is not what I need right now. Oh, it's gonna, he's going to get past me sooner than I, than I was hoping. I need some, I need a buffer. I need someone in between us right now. these tyres have come to life this is where it will show the difference between our cars oh god look at that that's crazy close leave me alone <laughs> shoo shoo Bottas shoo oh, no, come on look at that for an overtake around the outside okay this is for position this is Some of them still haven't been in the pitch yet. Hamilton's ahead of us at the moment fighting through the other guys who haven't got in the pits and they'll all be in the pits on the next lap. So we'll go past them. Bottas is still fighting that. Wow. They are staying out quite late aren't they the Williams? I don't know. Well maybe it's the them doing this to try and gain positions but it's not going to work. The only thing it's doing is helping me. Thank you. Keep him behind you. That's it, Potter. Sorry. Bye bye. Oh, he's passed. Okay. How quickly is he going to catch up? How quickly is Potter going to just get past me now?
his speed is just ridiculous we don't want you Bottas leave me alone god this guy oh here we go incredible absolutely crazy they're just too good this has definitely been the battle of the entire race hasn't it me v Bottas for second place possibly this is what's going to decide who finishes second in the championship it's probably going to give Hamilton the championship as well because he's won again I think if I would have won this race or Bottas would have won it and Hamilton hadn't it, it might have the championship might play it differently but because he's won again it's basically a title decider isn't it I know there's plenty of races to go but even if we do like start matching Hamilton's results this could be one of those deciders where because we've been battling each other and not trying to keep up with Lewis and trying to beat him it's helped him win the title again a bit exciting though behind us it's just everybody else is in the same positions McLaren, Nando's doing okay he's still stuck behind Lance Stroll and Perez though. the Renaults aren't any closer to battling the McLarens Alfa Romeo in the same position same with the Alfa Tories and Nobuharu what can I say about Nobuharu apart from once again he's finishing outside the top 15 Hamilton there he is absolutely dominating this race showing why he is the world champion I wonder how he would do in my car it's a question we are going to answer very very soon if I can afford him at the end of the season I will use whatever money I get to buy him and have him as my teammate and we'll do that rather than upgrade the team just because I want to see where he's going to end up. Bottas. How's he doing? Let's change the camera. That's better. How far is he ahead of us? Not far. Stappen's still with us. That all seems to have backed off a little bit. I don't know if he's having any problems with his engine. Or if he's struggling on those tyres but he's not as close as he was at the beginning of the race we are coming to the end of this race now not many laps to go this could be an exciting end to the race I am doing my best to keep up with Bottas I haven't learnt my lesson I'm just wasting as much grip as possible on this I want second place, I need it, I need second if anyone is gonna somehow beat Lewis Hamilton in this championship it's gotta be me I don't think Bottas can do it Ferrari aren't on the same page as Mercedes and Red Bull well Red Bull I'm just a mixed bag at the moment maybe next year once they've all upgraded the cars again Verstappen might be able to or maybe they'll all switch seats I don't know I'm, I'm really excited for the, the transfer market or the drivers market to open up at the end of the season it's gonna be really exciting and I'm gonna spend what money I have on somebody whether or not I can afford Hamilton we'll see if it's a if it's a choice between picking Hamilton or upgrading my car I'll pick Hamilton and then upgrade my car in a few seasons if I just can't do any of that and I can just maybe buy like a mid table driver I'm gonna compare them to Nobuharu and at the moment 
I will have anyone over Nobuharu because he's not doing well even when I've been upgrading him I'm still battling Bottas but mm, I don't think I can beat him he's he's still got the grip where I am losing grip quite quickly mm, it's not going to be a good one for me very very sad I have tried my absolute best here but in the end it just hasn't been good enough yeah I've gone super wide there super duper wide I've, oh no I have let Verstappen in here we are coming on to the last lap of the race and I have let Verstappen in the door I'm really screwed up I have screwed the pooch on this one oh I've screwed the pooch he's gonna get me this is not good the last lap of the race and the grip on my car on my tires are screwed I'm not getting second that's a definite definite no but I might even lose third I could possibly lose third place oh, I really don't like this <laughs> damn it I've got to be calm I just haven't been settled in this race at all I've been pushing and pushing and pushing thinking oh, I can do it I can keep up with them can't. This car just hasn't got what it takes to keep up with the front runners, really. But I'm hoping in the next few upgrades we can do it. I'm hoping the next load of upgrades, which are meant to be due, I think in the next two weeks, should help us at least compete with the mid table teams. Oh no, come on, he's got me. Crap, 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 come on. I need to fight him. Right, get him on the other side. Yes! What a move. I'm <laughs> sorry, Verstappen, I had to be aggressive there. This is the diff this is what makes title It's what makes title champions, doesn't it? You have to be aggressive. What a race. Right, let's see the race positions. Driver of the day, Roman Grosjean. You are joking me. Roman Grosjean. What did he do? Well, they've done a brilliant job, I must say. Under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I know it's a bit of a boring answer, but the truth is they simply had the best speed package on the day, and a driver who knows how to take advantage of that. It doesn't matter how much time you spend poring over the stats and planning strategies if you can't keep the pace, and our winner today showed they could do both. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ants, who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? Well, for me, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. The multiple world champion may be the boring choice at this point, but you can't argue that he's a driver deserving of his reputation. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. I still can't believe the, the computer voted for Ramon Grosjean as the best. Well, 
Well, I had to change my strategy, didn't I? There was no way I could have started with softs and gone on to the hard. I probably could have, but it wouldn't have worked out for me in the end. I had to switch up strategies just to try and do something different. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Well, I hope so. It's my team. But I'm not really bothered what they think. Have any comments about the collisions? No. Not at all. I did what I had to. I did my best and that's all I can say. Appreciate your time. Yeah, you can smile, it might be the last interview I do with you again this time. A clerk, I think I've beaten him, haven't I? Or I'm close to beating him in the rivalry. You got Nabu Haru, yeah, well, what can I say? We've beaten him. Okay, let's sort out all outgrades if we can. We need to add some activities just to get that sorted. Mm, four days, three days, three. I don't want it. I need money, but at the same time, we need resources. But I also need my teammate to get better. Well, hopefully that'll improve him. These, I need to start upgrading these really, but the money, I'm trying, I really want to save my money up. But at the same time, I do know I need to upgrade some of these, because otherwise, it's going to take forever for anything to be upgraded. And upgrading these speeds up our R&D process. So really, I have to spend now, and in the long run, it will help our car. In the short run, I'm not really helping my car at all. There we are, that's the standings. We are second in the championship. That's not too bad. There's Nabuharu, 17th of course. Very interesting so far. We've got quite a few races left which I am not strong at at all. I struggle at quite a few of them actually. I'm possibly going to slip down the standings. Yeah, I've this little route that we do now, the European circuit. I'm okay at the European circuit. It's the rest of it I might struggle at, so we'll see. But anyway, after I've done all this and advanced the week, we will head on over to the next race. But I hope you all enjoyed this crazy race. I did my absolute best to try and win. We just weren't good enough this time, but you never know. Maybe next time. Anyway, thank you all. Hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care.